Today is about the power of you. You will change the world. You're listening to the Chronicles of Living Podcast. Do, do, do the damn thing. Where we talk to visionary dreamers like you about living their best life. Fulfill the highest, truest expression of yourself. It's time to step into the past, present, and future with an open and healthy mind. Now let's talk. Greetings, 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 my visionary dreamers. How is everybody doing on Let's Talk Sunday? This is Adion, your dream pusher, your lifeguard, saving you from yourself, from the world, from some real boo shit. And you are listening to Chronicles of Living podcast show, the show for everyday people doing everyday things, living everyday life. You know, as extraordinary folk just over here doing the damn thing the best way we can. And today, oh, first guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for my my veterans. Thank you for my newcomers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Chronicles of Living is just a show. I just come on here and talk whatever spirit puts on me to talk about everyday stuff we might deal with, we might know someone that's dealing with, so that we can look at life from a different angle and utilize what we see or what we hear or, you know, just different situations to just take us to the next level, okay? Even if you already leveling up, you always, we always could use some more leveling up. Let's say that, okay? So today's topic is slow down. Pay attention. Slow down. Pay attention. Thank you guys for tuning in on YouTube and all that other good stuff. But I'm going to just get right to it. Slow down. Pay attention. Um, This came to me actually, I believe yesterday. Um, I, even though I pull guidance for other people, I pull my own cards as well. Um, at least once a week to kind of give me guidance as to something that I might be missing in my life. Um, you know, just some direction, some guidance and things of that nature. And if you just tuning in for the first time, I am, um, an an Oracle card reader, a guidance reader, um, and just helping people to basically confirm things that you already hear in your head, but it's just a tool to help you just to, to really know. So I use it for myself too. And in my reading, one of the things that stuck out to me was um, basically because we all can, you know, we have these good ideas. We have opportunities that come our way, rather it be in business, rather it be in a relationship, rather it be um, new friendship, whatever it is. We have things that come to us. And we have the opportunity to accept or reject. You get what I'm saying? So whatever it is, even if it's um, things like um, opportunities for some money to come your way, whatever it is, we have that option to accept or to reject it at any time. You know what I mean? So I know 2020 has been a whirlwind for everybody in some type of way, whether you looked at it or received it as a bad year or a good year, or just that middle in between. I know me, I had a mixture and I'm sure that a lot of you out there had a mixture. And so because of that, you know, with everything we know kind of becoming undone, I want to say it that way, you know, just having to do things a different way. You know, we can be, have thoughts that's racing in our head. So when I say slow down, I know y'all probably thought I just meant like physically. No, I mean all over the board, guys. You know, slow down in your thoughts, slow down in your feelings, slow down the way you move and slow down and, you know, what you're going after and sit back for a minute and just pay attention. You know, pay attention to what are you thinking? Why are you talking the way you talk? Why, why, um, you know, do you fear things? Um, 
You know, where are the ideas coming from all of a sudden? Maybe you have new ideas and you never really had a bunch of ideas that were seen to benefit you. You know what I'm saying? Slow down for a minute and, and, and pay attention as to, you know, why is it that all of a sudden your mind is free to even think of some new ideas? Was it cluttered before? And if it was cluttered before, get to the to the whole brim of it on why it was cluttered. You know what I mean? Was it the people around you? Was it the environment? Was it your family? Was it your friends? Is that what was clogging your brilliance? I'm going to say it that way because we all are brilliant in our own way. We all possess greatness in us. The thing is this, sometimes we stop ourselves from allowing that greatness to come to the forefront. Sometimes we stop, we allow other people to stop us from allowing the greatness to come to the forefront, you know, and I know y'all are like, okay, she was just talking about her reading. I mean, this is what I'm sharing with y'all. I'm just, you know, sometimes I talk about specifically my situation and sometimes I'm sharing this situation with y'all. You know what I mean? That's what the show is all about. However, it's going to come out. And I pray all the time that you can gravitate towards something that I say and it can help you in some type of way that you leave the show better than when you started listening to it. That that is the point of the show. So for me, the slowdown was, you know, I'm I'm doing a lot right now, you know, with uh my um regenerating me um wellness and purpose boutique and just getting all that together and, and thank God I'm pretty much done now. Woo, hallelujah. But just in the midst of that, I still have so many other opportunities that surrounding me, you know, other um ways to make money and you know, with all of those things, it requires some studying from me. It requires, you know, time from me, you know, let alone, you know, the other things that I have going on that I put on hold, like the TV show. Everything requires time from you. You know what I'm saying? And when you are, if you are maybe doing things on your own, or even if you have a business and you have employees, it's still going to require some thought process from you. And so when you are in that thought process, you have to allow yourself to slow down and pay attention, pay attention to, you know, what's working, what's not working, you know, be honest with yourself and ask yourself, like, what is it that I can change? How can I adjust things to even go further? you know, with, with my business or with my relationship or with, you know, my money or what, whatever it is that you might feel like, okay, I can do better. And I truly believe that in every area of our life, rather be health, wealth, you know, spirituality, I believe we all can, um, utilize some slowing down and paying attention to seeing how, how is it that we've grown? How is it that we're not growing? Why are we not growing? You know what I'm saying? Again, get into the root of what is allowing us to flourish and what is it that's holding us back from flourishing? You get what I'm saying? Because when we sit and we analyze ourselves, when we reflect on ourselves and we're honest with ourselves, that's when we can start moving forward to the next level. You know, as as I say, leveling up. Regardless, some people can come, can listen to the show. Oh, I don't need this show. I'm, I'm good. I'm all the way good. I'm, you know, my money right. You know, my, my relationship right or, or whatever. But overstand this. I don't care how perfect your life is. At some point, your life is going to take a dip in some area. And you don't want to be going and getting blindsided by that. You know what I'm saying? So this is why... It is very important that you consistently feed yourself positive information and positive energy surrounding you. Because see, when that dip comes, then you going you going to be able to slow down and pay attention and see, wow, wait a minute, hold up, what just happened here? <laughs> you know what I mean? What just happened? And and if you're willing to, like I said, be honest with yourself and not feel like, oh, you, you know, you don't want to maybe sometimes take a step backwards to move forwards. You know, I had to do that a lot in my life. Take a step, take steps backwards to move forward. 
And in the beginning, when they, those moments would happen, when I had to take a step backwards to move forward, yes, it was uncomfortable. I don't think nobody would ever get comfortable with having to take a step backwards to move forward. I don't think that. But what I know is this. Every time you have to take a step backwards for whatever reason that the creator made you or put you in that, allowed you to be in that position, not put you in that position, but allowed you to be in that position, it is for your higher good. It is for your growth. It is for you to be still for a moment because you could miss something important. You could miss a blessing that, you know, the creator has for you because you might be moving too fast. You know what I mean? Or you might be, your mind might be racing too fast with thoughts. Thoughts that's like in the way of you being able to see something that's right in front of your face that can change your whole life. A lot of people out here, a lot of us, I've had things every now and then that I've missed and I look back and be like, oh, shoot, I wish if I would have. But then I do say this, you know, everything happens for a reason, but sometimes you can be aware of something after the fact so that it can prepare you for the next time to know to pay attention. Like I always, always teach my son and any other young people that was in my life, always the main thing, one of the main things I teach them is to pay attention to the details, to the smallest details, to the details, rather it's something that you're reading, rather you're in school, rather you're at work, rather it's somebody that's talking to you, rather it's something somebody said, rather they're talking to somebody else, like, but they're around you, pay Pay attention to the details because you don't know what might come later on that you, you like, oh, wow, I remember this or I remember, you know what I'm saying? Um, that situation, or I remember this person said this and now I know what to expect. Things of that nature. You know what I mean? Pay attention to, um, I had a conversation, um, today with someone and we was talking about just how sometimes, you know, people that you, you known for years, um, they were sharing with me that they known for years and now that they're leveling up, it kind of feels like, you know, the, the person is just not as happy for them that they thought would be, you know what I'm saying? And I talk about this in past shows. I've talked about this in past shows that when you decide to level up. When you decide to go after your visions, your dreams, you know, your goals. And if it's out of the norm of people that's surrounding you, man, you're going to find out a lot. You're going to find out a lot of, you know, undercover, maybe jealousy, envy. You know what I'm saying? Just little undercover stuff that you didn't really realize. But only if you slow down and pay attention. If you pay attention to how conversations change when you talk to people that you've known for years and when you talk about, you know, your business and what you're doing and the ideas that you have to to level up and you pay attention to their body language, pay attention to their eyes, pay attention to what they respond back to you or pay attention to the fact that if they never respond back to you, you get what I'm saying? Pay attention to what they say to you in response to you being so excited and so happy about your breakthroughs um, that you might have had because maybe you were stuck in life at some point or your, you know, your new ideas or, you know, your in some type of form, something that you just maybe freed yourself from. New money that came into you, a, a blessing that you got unexpectedly. Things of that nature. When you share those things with people, you know, around you, pay attention to how they respond. And again, when I say how they respond, I don't mean just what they say. I mean body language. I mean eye contact. I mean everything. Pay attention to your energy. How do you feel? When you're expressing things to a person that you're excited about and... You know, how is your energy receiving 
their energy because shit, energy is everything. I'm here to tell y'all. You know, sometimes energy can shift just because, you know, maybe you're uncertain. Or maybe the person is uncertain or maybe the people, you know what I mean? You know, a person might not know how to take you. Because again, if whatever the conversation is, is something new to them, they might not know how to take it. And that don't always mean that it's bad. That don't always mean that. Sometimes it could just mean that um, maybe they just need a minute to digest it, to, to receive it. You know, the information that you're giving them. Or the same to you. Sometimes, you know, you could feel uneasy about somebody talking to you and expressing something or whatever like that. And you might feel a shift in your energy. That don't mean it's bad. That can mean that, you know, you need a moment to just digest what they said or what they did or, you know, or receive it and and see how it might um, play out or see how it maybe might benefit you or how maybe it might not benefit you. You get what I'm saying? Everything in life, um, I always say is an experience and it's experience. Why? Because it allows us to see how far we came. It allows us to see how far we want to go and it allows us to see how far we can go. You know, if you don't experience different things, how will you know um, what you're capable of? How will you know what at this time you're not capable of? You say, I said, what at this time? Because you're capable of anything that you put your mind to. I was sharing with someone earlier today about the fact that, you know, I believe I'm this way and I'm such a go-getter because of my grandpa. And I talk about him often because, you know, really he planted some deep seeds in me to know, like, look, you, you're unstoppable. You're unstoppable. In other words, you, I'm talking to you listening. You are unstoppable. It's you. You are the only one that can stop you from creating from any blessings that's yours that's coming your way or that has came your way and maybe you stop yourself from receiving it any new newness in life any new adventures any meeting any new people that might be on your level that you're going to because maybe you might decide that you want to shrink yourself down to to stay right where you know is comfortable And I don't mean that in a physical form. I mean that in a mental form. I mean, I do mean it in a physical form too, but it's also a mental form. Because a lot of times, you know, we can, we we stop ourselves if we're not ready, if we think we're not ready. But when the creator puts opportunities in, in your face, you know what I'm saying? If you just slow down for one minute, not, not 10 years, but Slow down for a little bit, analyze it a little bit, but don't go too deep because a lot of times there's a lot of folk out here that analyze the shit out of stuff and that is what stops them from getting the bag, getting the new life that they've been desiring, getting the new opportunities, getting, you know, whatever newness that is right there for them to have. You know, or you to have, let me stop saying they, you, you, you're listening to me. Okay. You're the only one that can stop yourself. You're the only one that's in your way of anything that's good. That can benefit you, your loved ones. You know what I'm saying? You're the only one. So this is why I say, slow down and pay attention. You know what I mean? Slow down, pay attention to, like I said, the way you do things. And I that message came to me because for me, it was like, wow, 
You know what I mean? When the message came, like, slow down. It was like, if you continue to do things the way you're doing it, you you know, basically my message was, you know what I mean? You, you're going to be successful. Your luck is on your side. That was my message. Like, luck is on your side. Just continue to do things the way you know it's supposed to be done. That message for me was, you know, from the business aspect, make sure you cross your T's, dot your I's. Make sure you read the information that's given to you in any type of business format like this week i gotta work on my taxes i need to read up on you know the new business tax cuts and all of that no i'm not uh uh, accounting and all of that but i've been doing my my taxes since what i think 2013 and last year i let somebody do it and lost 800 bucks so i'm like i'm thinking they the professional they might know more and no so (laughs) i'm going to take my time and do some reading and do my own again you know what I mean but that requires for me to slow down and pay attention pay attention to what I'm reading pay attention to researching how different ways that I can save money um and and different new tax cuts because this whole pandemic has definitely uh you know it's changed so much you know and and for good and bad you know what I mean in so many different ways. So you got to pay attention to all this newness that's out here, these new laws. And, 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 and yes, I, to be honest, I really, I'm not even going to say hate because I don't want to put that energy out there, but I, uh, let me word it right. Cause we got to work on that wording y'all. Um, it's just a little challenging at times, you know, the way I feel about doing any, any type of, um, like things like taxes, you know, on that business format, because I'm a more of a creative, per, creative person and a builder. And that's where I like to spend my energy as opposed to doing any type of admin work, even though I have, you know, done the whole mortgage and insurance and all of that whole bit. The thing that used to keep me going with that stuff was the results that I was able to get the people that I was helping. And that was the energy that I always was in when I had to do that paperwork. So, but I'm going to do it. I I have to slow down and I have to pay attention because if I want everything to turn out right, you know what I mean? That's what it's going to be. It's like now that my son is older, you know, and he has to handle, um, his own business in different aspects, whatever it is, he's starting to notice why I always tore him to, you know, slow down, read, do not rush through a text, do not rush through an email, because especially young people, they will rush through some stuff. And even older people, just, just try to glance through it and you can miss a valuable point. And now he's starting to see because of the fact that Different things that we might need. Um, I can't really think of an example right now. But anyway, different things that we might need. Okay, perfect example. Doggone Comcast. I I know this is universal. Whoever has cable with Comcast. (laughs) Perfect example. Okay, so, you know, Comcast. They have all these different reps. You know what I mean? When stuff goes wrong with your internet and all of that whole bit, you call in, you got to be online and all this stuff. And then you got to repeat the story and they supposed to take notes, right? Well, you could find yourself repeating the same freaking thing, regardless if they have notes, you know what I mean? And you can tell them something and they can do the total opposite. Why? Because they rush through things. Not all of them, you know, you got to keep calling until you get the right rep, but He, at one point, was getting frustrated. You know what I mean? He was like, hold up. We just, didn't we just call them? Did we just, you know what I mean? But if people don't take time to pay attention to what the person is saying or what what the, you know, what the notes were for the last person, then it's like, it's wasted time. It's wasted time. And it can be very frustrating. But a lot of people are getting paid to rush through their job and not pay attention, (laughs) you know, and it becomes very frustrating. So, you know, if it's frustrating to you, then that's why you should make sure that when it's your time to, to do a thing or, you know, um, listen to a person that you pay attention so you don't have to repeat 
things over, you know, even in business because of the fact that, you know, I'm an entrepreneur and, you know, I, I, I know, um, a lot of different entrepreneurs. It's like perfect example. Okay. Me with this boutique, I, I'll just use me. I ordered this stuff and I was excited about, okay, I got this product. I made, you know, my, my bath detox, my spiritual bath detox, and I got all the ingredients and all this. And then it dawned on me like, oh shit, I got to do inventory for all of this stuff. (laughs) I got to do inventory for all of this stuff. I got to price it all out. I got to, you know what I mean? That takes time. But I was moving so fast because I was so excited and I because the idea finally clicked in me as into what exactly I wanted to do because regenerating me really was me being a contractor, going around to different, you know, schools and, and boys and girls club and things of that nature and teaching kids uh entrepreneurship and, and fashion and stuff like that. That's where basically it in meditation and and, and things of that nature, that's where it was It was kind of born from that. So therefore now, because of the pandemic, you know, and now I have my space, my boutique space, I had to think of, okay, yes, I do still do a service. Yes, I do, you know, my bio scans and and the car readings. But now, you know, to give an incentive to bring even more people in, I wanted to do products that goes with the wellness part, you know? So I was just so focused on that, that at a moment I kind of forgot like, oh shit, I got to really like buckle down and, you know, account for everything and keep up with my own books until, you know, the money comes in that I can hire someone to help me with my books and to help me with, um, to maintain all that admin stuff, the stuff that the admin stuff that I'm not really too fond of. But what it does is it's helping me again to level up. It's helping me to, you know, to, to grow, to grow in, in that area, to find different, every time I work on different things, it's, it's going to help me to find a faster way to do it. That's more, um, sufficient, you know, more efficient or however you want to say it. So never get, um, and I'm going to say this to y'all, don't get upset when you got to do the things that. It's it's just not, you know, not your favorite thing to do. It's just like in school when people go to college, you know, like the first, the first, they want to be this certain thing. But the first year is, is all those core classes is math and English. It's not, they're not getting right to what it is that they're majoring in. They got to go through all of that stuff. They basically just went through in high school, but it's just to a next level. And you know, as a student, you can become frustrated. And I'm, I'm going to just use this as a met- metaphor. Like even I say as a student and as somebody that may be starting a new job, let's say it that way, but it's the same type of position that you've done for years, but now you with a new company. Now it's like, you got to go through all of the stuff you already learned from the other company all over again. And it gotta, you got to go at a slower pace. You know what I'm saying? It's saying with school, you got to do it all over again. And sometimes that could be a little frustrating, you know, but if you look at it in a way of, okay, you know what, this is an opportunity for me to learn some things that I might've missed. It's just like if you watch a movie over years later, or you read a book over the same book over, you know what I'm saying? You're always going to learn something that you missed. It's going, you're going to always get that aha moment where it's like, oh, wow, I didn't, I didn't realize that before. Why? Because you taking that over is, is a way of the creator slowing you down and making you pay attention all over again so that you can get maybe the thing that you might not have been ready for back when you was in high school or back when you was at the old job or you was doing that career for a different company or you you set out to do that that form of entrepreneurship but maybe you had a different company name or you had a different storefront or whatever like that or you were in a different environment doing that same thing now you starting it all over from scratch you know Because there's always something that we missed, guys. There's always something that 
we might not have been ready for mentally, spiritually, physically at that moment when we missed it. So it's not a bad thing that you missed it. Like I said, sometimes we're not ready to receive certain things where we are with our growth. We're not, you know, at that level to receive it, to comprehend it. So this is why we we have to pull ourselves back every now and then and slow down and pay attention. And and sometimes look back at different information or look back at the way we used to do things and 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 gather the things that we know, we know for sure worked out. And then look at the things that we know didn't work out. And strangely as it is, sometimes some of those things can flip-flop for the for the new, for the new opportunity, for the new relationship, for the new job, for the new whatever. Sometimes the things that didn't work out before can be the things that work out in the future. And sometimes the things that was working out before is something that you need to move on from because it it just is it just had its life course or whatever, you know? So I say always be open and embrace new. Always be open and embrace adjustments. Always be open and embrace slowing down and looking and viewing. I know I've grown a lot because I now really tunnel vision and focus on the one thing, um, mission. And even though I was always able to complete things that I started, it's just like, I just put all my energy into the regenerating me boutique. You know, I stopped TV show to do that so that when I start the TV show back up, Regenerate Me is already, it's already rolling. And I, I have my days and my times and my schedules all together. You know what I'm saying? So it won't, um, and even if I got to go out of town, you know, to do the show or whatever like that, I still can have this whole template ready so that the business can continue to, to grow and to flourish all because I slowed down. You know what I mean? For a minute. And I've been paying attention. I've been paying attention to how I, how I put together businesses beforehand, before regenerating me and how I'm doing things now. It has allowed me to grow so much and I am putting up boundaries around other opportunities that I know are good opportunities, but I just know I have to complete this thing first so that I can give those opportunities more of my energy. You get what I'm saying? And I surround myself with people that I know is wanting to grow just like I want to grow. That is what's helping me. So when I, when I said to you earlier, if you are all of a sudden you feel like just a blockage has been lifted and you got all these great ideas and your energy is, is, is just on point. It's, it's positive. It's you, you ready to go. You, you know, your ambition is just off the radar. You know, this is why I said, slow down and see why examine why, who do you have around you now versus when you felt blocked? Who are you talking to on the phone? Who are you connecting with? You know what I mean? And I don't mean like a one person. I mean, it could be people. For me, it's the energy of the newness, you know, new people. And um, everybody is pretty much on the same brave um, brain um, wave as far as being an entrepreneur. Yeah, we all at different levels with our entrepreneurship. Some might have done it years, years, and some just getting started, whatever. But the bottom line is we all have... Uh, um, share a goal. We all share a vision, vision, and that is for our business. I hope our business to grow and to flourish. You know, so when you are surrounded, as I always talk, uh, with people that's wanting to go in the same direction, and I said wanting to go. You know what I'm saying? Not all are going to go. You know what I'm saying? Not all are going to go in that direction because that's what, that's how life is. You know, that's how life is. Everybody is doing different things. So 
You know, sometimes you, you're going to just meet each other at different levels and, and that's okay. And you just stay at that level with that person. And then the level, the people that you could talk to at another level, do you, you know what I mean? You, you deal with them on that level, but you got to be willing to, again, adjust. You got to be willing to be open and receptive to receive that because we all, we learn things from everybody that comes in our life, you know, rather it's so-called good or bad. We learn something from everybody that comes across our path, you know, and again, as the bad is, it's not really bad. It's really more so for you to be on point the next go round when you see um, a person doing a certain thing, or when you, you know, when a person says a certain thing to you, you, you're more open. You're more like, Oh, I got, I got that number. I got, you know what I'm saying? You know, as they say, fool me once, fool me twice type of thing, you know? And that's, again, that's all a part of you slowing down, slowing down your, your thought process for a minute. Like, hold up. What does a person just say to me? What did they just do? Hold up. I think that was done before. Wait a minute. How did I, how did I deal with that before? What was the result of me dealing with that in this, in that, in that way, you know? So let me see how should I deal with it this time? Because everything comes back around until you learn the lesson, rather you realize this is not. I guarantee you, if you look at your life and you look at different people that have come across your path and you look at the different relationships and the different things that has happened, you slow down for a minute and you pay attention to that, you will realize that some of it, might have happened two or three times. You know, same situation might have happened to you two or three times. Some might have happened, you know, two times. Some might have, you know what I mean? But it's because you didn't learn your lesson yet. So when you don't face certain things or, you know, um, just just certain feelings, certain emotions, rather be somebody bring it to you or you do it yourself and you cause it on yourself, you know, when you don't face it and you just try to bury it and you don't communicate with people, maybe how you feel or, and things of that nature, it's going to come back around and show itself with a different face, a different person. Maybe you try to move in a different, different environment, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's going to show itself until you learn the lesson. And this is what I know why I'm, my blockage is, is just because I feel like I was blocked for some years until I moved back to Georgia. And now things is just opening up for me left and right because I'm surrounding myself with new people, a new environment, with people that's, that has the same type of um, goals. Let's say not the same dream, but the same goals. They want to do more with their life. They want to create things. They want to, you know what I mean? They want to have more. They want to, you know, um, um, make positive change for themselves, for them love, for their loved ones, you know? And they don't want to be dealing with bullshit, you know? Or they working towards getting out of bullshit. Let's say it that way. This is, this is, it's so important, guys. So I know it's getting, it's getting late. But this is what I want to talk about today, and I'm so glad that um you guys are tuning in. And as I pray every show, I I really, really, really pray that maybe not every word, but a sentence <laughs> or something has helped you to have some food for thought, to really think and really to slow down and pay attention to where you're at in life, who you have in your life. Um, you know, different opportunities, uh, that you have in your life or that has come across your path that maybe you kind of slipped on or you, you slept on, let's say it that way. And, um, you know, opportunities that you're looking forward to in the future and that you allow yourself to slow down, pay attention, but just not over examine it, but just really go for it. If you feel good about it, if you, if you can look at it and you can say, wow, you know, if I do go for this outcome, if if I do, you know, make the adjustments, maybe this can help me. Maybe this can help change my life. Look at your life now. Like, I mean, I think we all can use a little adjustment here and there, <laughs> you know? So let's be fearless, like uh, last week's topic. Let's be fearless, guys. Let's stand strong. 
Let's slow down. Let's pay attention. Let's see why, if you are stuck, let's examine, you know, what is it that you're doing? What is it that you're saying to yourself? What's the wordage that you're using? Like I told someone earlier, they were like, if a person, if a client comes that they was expecting, I said, no, it ain't no if, it's when they're going to come. When, when they come and they say, oh, oh yeah, when, and guess what? The client came, I mean, the uh, person came and they made their money that they was hoping to make that day. It's all about what you say, guys, and how you feel. And even if you don't feel it's real, just keep saying it until it is. Keep saying it until you have what is it that you really want out of life. If your energy don't follow, keep saying it until it does. As long as it's something positive, okay? So thank you guys again for tuning in. Thank you. Definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. I know I've been MIA only because I've been working on a boutique. But I'm about to get back on top of things, guys. Um, But thank you for supporting the books, Visionary Dreamer, 90 Day Journal, and Transform Your Life. Discover your purpose. Thank you so, so much. I so appreciate each and every last one of y'all. I love, love, love you guys so, so much. And again, I pray that this show um, definitely helps you in some type of way. Make sure you rate the show, comment, whatever platform you, you're you listening on. I really appreciate it. Share it. Sharing is caring um, and things of that nature, guys. So I love you. This is Adion, your dream pusher, your lifeguard, saving you from yourself, the world, some real bullshit, y'all. And you are listening to Chronicles of Living podcast show, the show for everyday people doing everyday things, living everyday life. You know, us extraordinary folk out here just doing the damn thing the best way we can. And that's all we can ask of ourselves. I love you guys. Until next week, peace. The Chronicles of Living. We can be whatever we dream. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Chronicles of Living podcast, where you find only the highest vibrations. Remember, you are extraordinary. And if you're pursuing your dreams, we're proud of you. Because the best part of life is when you decide to live. Something better is always possible if you're willing to work for it and fight for it. Stay updated with Adion by visiting chroniclesofliving.com or stay connected through social media by following at Chronicles of Living. Until next time, your dream pusher, Adion.